hello and welcome back to my channel it feels like ages since i've filmed a video i guess it probably has well for this channel anyway if you didn't know i also have a pregnancy and baby related channel and i've been kind of trying to upload both on there and on here i'm getting very pregnant now i am very pregnant i'm a couple of weeks away from my due date which is a really 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 scary prospect i'll talk about that more i'm sure and if you want to hear more about the baby stuff then as i said go to my other channel i'll link it down below it's called bean and me today i wanted to film a video um i haven't done one of these in ages because the last like monthly review i did was like a yearly review in december I try and do them every month but I know that there are a few months where I kind of had to double up and that's what I'm doing again this time because I didn't do one in January and it is getting towards the end of February now. I wanted to kind of try and get back on track for March although I'm going to be like that's around the time that I'm going to have my baby so who knows. I am aiming to film it every month from now on but sometimes I might have to double up. Normally I kind of, it's a bit more structured what I'm going to talk about, but because like everything that I'm going to talk about is a bit scattered, I don't really have a massive amount to talk about, um, I'm just going to kind of talk freely about what's been happening uh, since Christmas I guess. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is actually something that I got for Christmas and that is my charm bracelet. Basically I got a charm bracelet when I was 15 I want to say and it's something that I'd always wanted because my mum had a charm bracelet when I was growing up and it was like a really sentimental thing and I really liked the idea of having that and having a charm for like significant things in your life and all of that. But however, the bracelet that I had, the clasps never closed properly and every time I tried to wear it, it would like fall off. Because it was so special to me, I freaked out about losing it. But I still added charms to it. I don't think I've had a charm on it since like my 21st. Um, I'm obviously, I'm 33 now. Um, so it's quite a long time. But I've always kept it and I, I've always known that I wanted a charm bracelet to put the charms onto a new one and to add on to it. And I got one for Christmas. I got a Thomas Sabo charm bracelet and I also got a few charms on it as well. My old charms are with my mum and dad at the moment because my dad had to remove them from my old bracelet. I really like the idea of kind of like adding it to it throughout my life and all of that and then handing it down to my baby girl. Let me show you the charms that I've got so far. I am actually thinking of doing a video where I should talk about all of the charms on my charm bracelet um, when I get them all done because there's a lot of them that are kind of significant to, like on, from my old one, that are significant to my life and my life story. So I might do that. So these are the charms that I've got. This is the bracelet. And as you can see, it can like be adjusted. So it can be tiny, tiny, tiny or really big. So I've got a skull, a little angel, a little guardian angel girl and a paisley charm. I love it and I haven't been able to wear it yet because I want to wear it when all of the charms are on there. In January I have my hypnobirthing course. Um, we decided to go with Siobhan from the Positive Birth Company. She came to our house for two days because we had a like one-to-one -one session because I thought that we would both benefit more from that than in a group environment and yeah it was great. I feel we both I think we both feel a lot more confident and prepared now for the birth and a lot calmer. I'm actually really looking forward to giving birth which sounds crazy but I am. February was a really busy month for me. I had like two weekends in a row where I had a lot going on um, and I'm going to talk about that now. So the first thing that happened was the puppy meetup. I have been so excited about this since, like, since we planned it. Basically, I'm in touch with all of Dexter's litter mates, her brothers and sisters, and one of her half sisters as well. We'd arranged to meet up all together and let the puppies play and like have lunch and stuff. And that was like the first weekend in February and it was just so amazing. It was really far away, it was a really long drive for me, but it was so much fun and it was so sweet seeing them all playing together. I'll insert some video footage and photos now of them all playing and Dexter was so antisocial. She just sat like at the back watching her brothers and sisters play and then she had a little run around for a minute and then she just sat back and she was like, I can't be bothered with this. She did try having sex with two of her brothers though, which is, she has discovered humping. I'm hoping she'll get out of. She's actually been doing really well. Um, if you didn't know, she had an operation on Boxing Day to remove the stitches that she had put in in October when she was spayed because she had a reaction to them and she's been she's been healing really well. And then the day after that was my baby shower, which again was something that I've been looking forward to. I was actually really nervous about it though, but it was a really lovely um, it was a really lovely day. It was just like you know games, presents, and food and stuff. I was too nervous to eat. Yeah, it was just, it was a really lovely day and I got some really, really amazing stuff for our baby girl. Oh, something in January that happened. We had a 4D scan of our little girl and I'll, again, I'll insert some footage here and you could like properly see her face and everything. It was amazing and it's just made me even more excited to meet her. The weekend after that, it was my birthday. Now, this should have been like a bigger weekend, but it wasn't really. It kind of, it sucked. 
and I'm sure I'll talk more about that at some point but it just if you've been following me for like a few years you'll know that I struggle with birthdays anyway and I just needed I needed to have a good day and my parents came over and gave me amazing presents and uh, took me out for lunch but other than that it was just it was a bit of a struggle. I'm going to talk about two other kind of related baby stuff now and then that's all the baby stuff done because I know that I try and keep my baby stuff on the on my other channel. Um, I had an appointment at the hospital last week with the anaesthetist to discuss like options if I have to have a c-section. Uh, hopefully I won't and I'm planning on having a natural birth. I have been planning on having a general anaesthetic throughout my whole pregnancy if I have to have to see if I have to have a c-section because I'm terrified of cannulas and an epidural is like a cannula in your back basically. I couldn't deal with that. However, I did some research and found out that the spinal block doesn't stay in. It's just a one one time injection. It works quicker and it's stronger but it doesn't last as long because the epidural can be topped up which is why that is favoured more. So I have decided to be brave and I'll be going for a spinal block. If I have to have a c-section, um, the one bad thing about the anaesthetist appointment is she was like, oh you're definitely going to have to have an epidural, you're not going to handle the pain. And I was just like, what makes you have the right to say that? You know, it goes against everything that we learn in hypnobirthing. I think it's bollocks because I think I've got quite a high pain threshold. I think she was just like, oh you're in a lot of pain anyway so you're really going to struggle with labour pain. But surely it's the opposite, like I'm used to being in pain every single day. So what's a bit more pain? Something that I got for Christmas I wanted to talk about is, um, this is kind of pregnancy related but kind of not, is some creams. If you're in England and you know about like the sanctuary stuff, like uh, body lotions and all of that, I got a sanctuary set for Christmas from my mum. It was like a mum to be set, and it had it had two body creams in it: a stretch mark oil, a tired leg gel, and some bath soap. Body creams are by far the best body creams that I've used throughout my pregnancy. Ever since I found out I was pregnant, I've been using like cream on my stomach and other areas to try and help prevent stretch marks. These are by far my favourites. I absolutely love them. I can't really use the bath soak because I don't have a bath here so I've taken it to mum and dad's to use at theirs and I'm going to repurchase it because I think it's amazing. I have because I've used it all up I don't have it to show but I'm going to put a picture of it here so you know. Um, but if you're somebody that suffers with stretch marks you don't have to I don't, you don't have to be a mum to be obviously that's what who it's marketed 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 at but if you have stretch marks or just if you like nice body creams and it's actually really reasonable i think it's like 17 pound 50 for the box and as i said it's now the end of february i've been using it since christmas that's two months it's lasted me and for all of what you get they're not like massive full size ones but they're not tiny so I think they're really worth it and I really use them. I've been using them like once or twice a day. Another product that I'm going to talk about quickly that I got is this room spray. Can you see it says pomegranate number three. This is from Aldi. I've had quite a few of the pomegranate kind of uh, smells. Um, I've had the candle and the reed diffuser. Oh, I've had two of the candles and the reed diffuser and I love it. it. I think it's supposed to be a knockoff of the Jo Malone pomegranate noir. I don't think I've smelled that one. I've smelled a few of the Jo Malone stuff, but obviously that stuff is like £50. This was like three. It smells so good. I use it as perfume sometimes because it smells so, so good. As I said, I've had two two of the candles and it smells, I don't know how to describe it. It's, it's kind of fruity. I'm really rubbish at describing smells because, you know, right there. It smells a bit like wine, I don't know. It kind of, it's got that sort of like fruity, alcoholy, musky sort of smell. And I've actually got this because uh, one of the things that we learned in hypnobirthing is about trying to relax yourself, associations with things to relax you in labour. And because I use this one already, like I have this scent in my house already, I thought this would be a really good one to have. We can take this with us to the hospital or the birthing centre. And it will just remind me of being in a relaxing, comfortable place. Uh, we haven't really been watching much this month because I just feel so poorly all the time. However, I have been watching Friends since it came back on Netflix. I started at uh, that episode one and I've been watching it through to... Where am I up to now? Oh, Ross has just married... Ra no. Ross has just married Emily uh, in London. I, I like watching something when I'm eating. They're only like short episodes. So you can like watch a few if you want or you can just watch one. Everyone knows what Friends is, so... If you didn't know it's on Netflix, it's now on Netflix, which is great. The other thing that I watched, uh, I actually went to see this at the cinema. I've been so looking forward to it since I saw the trailer, and that is The Greatest Showman. It is right up my street. I love musicals. I love, like, the burlesque element. It kind of had, like, some of that, like, with the kind of sexy, olden time sort of thing. The only thing I'd say, actually, it's not a negative. I know that a lot of people have said this as a negative. The music doesn't fit the era at all. But 
I still think it worked for me. I love the songs. It made me cry within the first like few seconds. Obviously I'm pregnant so I'm hormonal anyway. It was very evocative. It was very Moulin Rouge-esque. So if you like that, if you like Chicago, like it really reminded me of Moulin Rouge. Um, the storyline wasn't like the strongest storyline, but everything else made up for it. I absolutely love, I'm desperate to go and see it again at the cinema, but I'm broke, I have no money. Okay, the last thing that I'm gonna talk about is a very, very mental health based thing. And I've been feeling very, very, very low. I am gonna talk about this more in depth in a video. I could talk for ages about how shit I've been feeling. Obviously a lot of it is exasperated by pregnancy and hormones and because my emotions are all over the place. I'm somebody that is quite aware of when what is making me feel a certain way um whether it's anxiety related or eating disorder related or depression related or pregnancy related because like the pregnancy related stuff is it tends to be quite irrational and like i'll cry at something really random so i'm quite i'm quite aware of when it is pregnancy related and my low moods haven't been for no reason they have been for specific reasons as i said i am going to talk about that in another video more in depth and i think i'm going to try and film that tomorrow or thursday then it will be going up shortly after this one um can you hear that noise that's dexter i think that's all i'm going to talk about and the next time i film one of these i will have either given birth or i'll be very close to giving birth which is a very 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 scary concept but it's very exciting and I can't wait to introduce you to my little girl. Anyway, if you have any questions, please leave them down below. Thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. Check out my pregnancy channel and I'll see you again soon. Bye.